Hey there, finance enthusiasts. Welcome back to Finance Homefront, your go-to channel for all things money-related. I'm your host, Craig, and today we're diving into some exciting news in the world of cryptocurrency. BlackRock, the world's largest asset manager, has unveiled its ambitious plan to dominate the realm of crypto ETFs. This groundbreaking move is poised to shake up the industry and pave the way for mainstream adoption of digital assets. But before we delve into the details, a quick reminder, I'm here to share insights and information, not provide financial advice. So if you enjoy staying ahead of the curve in the world of finance, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment below. Now, let's get into it. In the wake of recent Bitcoin ETF approvals, BlackRock's Larry Fink made waves by asserting that the future will be shaped by tokenization, envisioning a landscape where nearly everything from traditional assets to elements of the natural world is fractionally owned and traded on a unified ledger. Just 24 hours following the January 11th green light for 11 Bitcoin spot ETFs, including BlackRock's iShares Bitcoin Trust, iBit, Fink sat down with Bloomberg's David Weston to unpack the implications of BlackRock's foray into the Bitcoin market. Fink didn't hold back, outlining BlackRock's roadmap for Bitcoin and signaling the firm's intent to extend similar ETF offerings to other assets. He famously remarked, if we can ETF a Bitcoin, imagine what we can do with all financial instruments. Fink's statement crystallizes BlackRock's ambition to reframe Bitcoin as a commodity rather than a currency. Bitcoin's classification as a commodity rather than a currency underscores BlackRock's strategic maneuvering within the evolving financial landscape. Fink's comments shed light on BlackRock's intentions to integrate Bitcoin into traditional financial frameworks while steering clear of its potential as a currency. Despite the buzz around Bitcoin's disruptive potential, especially as a decentralized currency, BlackRock's focus lies in transforming it into just another speculative commodity, ripe for trading on regulated exchanges. This narrative positions BlackRock as a trailblazer in bridging the gap between traditional finance and the burgeoning cryptocurrency market. The rush to offer Bitcoin ETFs among major players in the financial industry signals a concerted effort to harness Bitcoin's potential while mitigating its threat to established currencies like the US dollar. By framing Bitcoin as a commodity rather than a currency, financial institutions aim to blunt its challenge to the supremacy of traditional fiat currencies. Critics argue that scaling Bitcoin to function as a mainstream currency faces significant hurdles, pointing to solutions like the Lightning Network as insufficient to support widespread adoption. While initiatives like the Lightning Network offer innovative solutions, the practicalities of implementing a decentralized payment network on a global scale remain daunting, necessitating large reserves of liquidity and raising concerns about centralization and privacy. Fintech companies like Lightning Labs and Blockstream have invested heavily in leveraging Bitcoin to tokenize assets, facilitating transactions in dollar-denominated tokens via Lightning channels or sidechains. While institutional adoption of Bitcoin has materialized, it has been largely confined to treating Bitcoin as an asset rather than a currency. Fink's comparison of ETFs to technological innovations like Bitcoin underscores this perspective. Positioning ETFs as the next frontier in asset storage technology. However, Bitcoin ETFs diverge significantly from the ethos of Bitcoin, requiring users to trust custodians with their keys and subjecting them to the limitations of traditional financial markets. The shift in Bitcoin's narrative from a tool of anti-state 
revolution to a regulated financial asset reflects broader trends in the cryptocurrency space. The accumulation of Bitcoin by institutional investors, including corporations and investment funds, underscores its integration into the traditional financial system. Notable holdings by entities like MicroStrategy, government seizures, and investment funds like Grayscale's GBTC highlight Bitcoin's growing presence within regulated financial markets. The concentration of Bitcoin holdings within the U.S. raises questions about its susceptibility to regulatory oversight, given the jurisdictional reach of U.S. regulatory agencies. BlackRock's filing for the iShares Bitcoin Trust, iBit, sheds light on the regulatory scrutiny faced by Bitcoin ETFs, with parallels drawn to previous instances of regulatory intervention. The suspension of the iShares MSCI Russia ETF, ERUS, following geopolitical developments underscores the vulnerability of ETFs to regulatory pressures. The liquidation of ERUS in response to geopolitical tensions highlights the challenges faced by ETF issuers in navigating shifting regulatory landscapes. The uncertainty surrounding regulatory actions adds complexity to the ETF market, with issuers forced to navigate geopolitical risks while seeking to maintain investor confidence. BlackRock's entanglement in government initiatives during times of crisis underscores its pivotal role in shaping economic policy. From managing debt buying programs during the 2008 financial crisis to advising on stimulus measures during the COVID-19 pandemic, BlackRock has positioned itself as a key player in the public-private nexus of economic governance. Fink's close ties to the Trump administration underscore BlackRock's influence in shaping government responses to economic challenges. The symbiotic relationship between BlackRock and government agencies highlights the convergence of public and private interests in times of crisis. The rise of ETFs as a dominant investment vehicle reflects broader shifts in financial markets catalyzed by the 2008 financial crisis. BlackRock's strategic pivot towards ETFs following its acquisition of Barclays Global Investors underscores the transformative impact of the crisis on financial markets. The rapid growth of ETFs since 2008 underscores their appeal to investors seeking diversified and liquid investment options. BlackRock's ascendance as the world's largest issuer of ETFs underscores its strategic positioning within the evolving financial landscape. BlackRock's involvement in government advisory services following the 2008 crisis solidified its role as a key player in economic governance. The company's mandates to manage portfolios of toxic assets from institutions like Bear Stearns and AIG underscore its pivotal role in stabilizing financial markets. Fink's expertise in structuring mortgage-backed securities positioned BlackRock as a key player in the aftermath of the subprime mortgage crisis. The company's strategic alliances with government agencies underscore its influence in shaping economic policy. Fink's assertion that blockchain technology will eliminate corruption in financial markets overlooks the challenges posed by institutional actors like JP Morgan. Despite Fink's optimism about blockchain's potential to enhance transparency and accountability, JP Morgan's involvement in market manipulation scandals undermines this narrative. The conviction of JP Morgan traders on fraud and manipulation charges highlights the persistence of corruption within financial markets. The company's settlement with regulatory authorities underscores the challenges of regulating complex financial instruments. BlackRock's partnership with JP Morgan in launching Bitcoin ETFs raises questions about the integrity of the cryptocurrency market. Despite JP Morgan's public skepticism towards Bitcoin, its involvement in facilitating Bitcoin transactions underscores the complexities of institutional involvement in the cryptocurrency space. The company's history of market manipulation casts doubt on the integrity of its involvement in Bitcoin ETFs. 
Fink's vision of a tokenized financial system overlooks the challenges posed by institutional actors with a history of market manipulation. In conclusion, BlackRock's strategy to dominate the fractionalized global economy reflects broader shifts in financial markets towards tokenization and fractional ownership. The company's pivot towards ETFs underscores its strategic positioning within the evolving financial landscape. However, challenges remain in reconciling the promise of blockchain technology with the realities of market manipulation and regulatory oversight. As BlackRock and its partners navigate the complexities of the cryptocurrency space, the integrity of financial markets hangs in the balance. 